Dawn, part of the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009, provides extended unemployment benefits, increases in food stamp benefits, a one-time payment to recipients of SSI and Social Security, and veterans receiving disability and pensions. To fund all this, our government is borrowing from our children's future. The wealthiest 0.1% of the population removed huge sums from circulation due to the bailout, yet seem oblivious to how their actions have resulted in a sluggish economy. How do you intend to fix this problem? Well, legally we can't because we have a free economy nation. The government doesn't really run the industry. Uh, the problem we have is that a company will come in and buy up uh, that particular manufacturing deal. They sell off all the assets and lay off all the people and they walk away with maybe a 25% profit for what they've done, not realizing they've shut down the town. Legally, the government can't stop that. What we have to do is reinvest in the interest of people, the patriotism of people, to be involved in America. Uh, it's all too much the almighty dollar, and many of these very rich people have walked away with the profit. Uh, case in point is people that invest in a company they buy stock. I have a thing on my website called the Golden Parachute. Somebody will come in and they work in this company for three or four years and they pay them 15 or 20 million dollars and then lay them off. They did that same thing with Disney. You know, one of the corporate men there came in. Uh, okay. he, he worked for Disney for a little bit, got a huge settlement, okay. left there. He got right. involved in the, I think it was Gap, worked for them for about five years or four years got 18 or 20 million dollars, they supposedly lay him off, and this money comes off the top that should really be shared with the stockholders in the company. I think we need to make some law in some way to control, uh, to give the people who buy stock more control in the company as to how much they can pay off these people with their gold parachutes. Right, okay. JL? As on my previous website, or in America Shrug, I have detailed very clearly how the money needs to be recalled, the Federal Reserve notes, recalled, closed, shut down, you know, the entire Federal Reserve system, and uh, U.S. currency reinstated, giving the, the individuals with uh, hundreds or tens to hundreds of millions of dollars uh, in offshore hidden accounts uh, time to exchange your money if they want to exchange their their. their the reserve notes, it's not really money, the reserve notes for the U.S. currency, they would get, uh, you know, no penalty within the first 30 days if they want to invest it into jobs, uh, growing businesses, they would get a guaranteed 6%. You know, it's the taxpayers. We could afford that because we'd be back to work. You know, 45 days, 60 days out, they're taxed 25%, 90 days out, 50%. Uh, hit 120 days, they basically forfeit their, their funds. This would kill the drug cartels. This, uh, this Mueller economic plan, Mueller debt plan, um, all in America shrug, that, that this is really the only legitimate, realistic cure that we have. And we would also control the corrupt Congress. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay, that's great. Uh, Santa? Well, you were talking about the unemployment insurance and food stamps and SSI and SS and veterans, etc. I think that it all goes back to what you originally uh, posited, which was the bailout was a really bad idea. And that money easily could have been used and spent to uh, support some of these falling through the cracks systems, uh, the support services for people who are just having a, a really tough time. Uh, back when I was in my working days, uh, I think unemployment benefits lasted six months and that was it. Um, now they're lasting up to two years. And it's, I don't think that's a very good expenditure of the money. I think it was spent retraining people, re directing them to other uh, sources of revenue um, that they can earn on, them, on their own. I think we children that it affects, and there are millions of children that it does, um, I think we have sold out their future. And 
I would like to see the federal governments and some of these programs are actually insurance programs um, spend the money more wisely than they have been spending it and controlling it, and that includes the private sector. Okay.